See this? This is my boomstick. Hi everyone, Boomstick here from Renegade Racing. Today we're looking at the BXR Bailey Blade GT1 Special Event. We'll be taking a look at Stage 9, which uses the Shelby GR1. Now, some of you may not have this car. That's okay. You can use the other car to get the conditions. Just looking at the conditions, if you finish the race, you'll get five red event packs. You'll get 30K credits for doing three perfect runs, 20 tokens for doing five jumps, and two yellow event packs for getting all of the 12 nitro bottles. And I believe there are 16 of them, so um, we can probably miss a couple, but uh, then there's the blueprints for doing 115. Mine is gold, so I should be able to do this all in one go, but we'll give it a shot. Um, I'm uh, going to see Rush Minute. Okay, uh, I didn't know which level it was, but let's have a look. Rush Minute, I know that track. It's a bit of a classic, bit of a multiplayer classic. Um, and the bottles are going to be an interesting one. Um, if you can't get the bottles, look, you can just do the times, and then in the future runs, you can just sit there and uh, go back and drive back and forth over those first two bottles. Um, that's a little uh, cheeky way of doing it, but I'm going to try and get it all in one go. Here we go. All right, I'm going to try and 360 here to get both of the bowls. Let's see if we can do it. And that's good. It gives you enough for a shockwave, which we can trigger straight away. And then I'll just do a bit of blue around the corner there. We'll trigger it perfect there off that. And just drifting around here just to pick up these two bottles. I think I might have missed one there. That's OK. We do have space to miss two of them. Um, we'll get this bottle and trigger it in perfect. And then back into yellow, a bit of imperfect. And then we just want to cruise here and just make sure we line up the bottles. A bit of a drift there, and then I'm going to line up this jump here, triggering the shockwave. Now I'm going to aim to see if I can get the yellow bottle over here. Um, nope, I missed it. <laughs> well, that's all right, we'll keep going. Um, I've missed it, I'll have to get every single bottle now. Um, so yellow along here, we'll go off this barrel roll, and just hold your drift down pretty sharp, and so that bounce sends you out that yellow bottle. Then you want to drift in this section, getting your shockwave ready um, and extend that by picking up the yellow bottle and then just be careful of the glass there. You don't want to land on that and have it break and then just get yourself around the corner. All right, I think I got enough there. I wasn't counting them in, in my head. 108.613 and let's have a look. Yes, we did. Okay. So there we go. Um, all in one <laughs> there. <laughs> Saving everyone a few tickets if you can manage to pull that one off. Um, I, I do think it's possible. It's not that difficult, really. Um, but uh, you might you might want to just drive a little bit slower. There's a bit more room there if your GR1 is done up. Otherwise, you, you're going to have to go as fast as the clappers or just do the bottles separately. All right, um, everyone. Uh, I hope this has been a helpful video. If you've got any questions about this particular course, uh, please put them up in the comments. Otherwise, if you are new or even an old subscriber to my channel, I would really appreciate a like up there or a subscribe. Um, that does help boost me up and I am trying to get to 1,000 followers. So I appreciate that. And that's mostly so I can pin comments and, and, and do community posts and stuff. It's not really about my ego, or at least that's what I tell everyone. All right, bye for now.